Put it on stun. Alright, so let's um, talk about zip wall. Let's talk about dust containment. Let's talk about your reputation. Actually, that's really what it is. You want to attach your reputation as a remodeler builder to a completely filthy house afterwards. It doesn't matter. One thing that we're surprised and amazed about more and more, there's two things that give you a good reputation and it's not necessarily your workmanship, it's your dust containment, how clean you leave the job, and the speed at which the job is done. All right, so we're gonna just throw out the speed at which we do the job because if you are a good, a high quality worker, it is what it is. It's gonna take the time it takes to do the job. But the dust containment we can deal with. Let me come over here. So we're gonna show you a couple different options that we deal do uh, as far as containing dust one is actually building the wall we're going to be doing that in the basement this one right here we're using the zip walls these right here these posts they just extend quick twist and it has a spring right there as far as compression now i think they say you can go four foot i think that's too far um, of a span um, I actually these could even been closer there mm -hmm. tape this together because let's be honest uh, you're going in if you're going into any size remodeling this plastic is going to start whipping back and forth unless you uh, get it secured to these posts it'll start separating from the top and bottom all right so this easily takes care of this we have a kitchen over here we wanted to contain the dust with now they are going to be doing some work in the kitchen afterwards but I want our portion of the job left clean we're putting an elevator in here so i'm going to show you exactly what we're doing there just a little bit but anyway so we built we're containing the kitchen right there because even though they're not replacing all the kitchens i don't want our drywall dust our sawdust all that small stuff getting into the slides into the back of the cabinets we don't want to do that so we we uh let me see i think we're just a little over two foot right there we've got a bunch of them we've got a zipper over here we're not really going to be in here we're fortunate because we're working in this place. There's no one that's living in here. So, but in the event that they stop by, or for us, let's say we want to throw our billfold or different stuff that we don't want any dust getting on it, throw it in there. Um, so not, not only does the zip wall have these, this zipper, has an adhesive on the back side mm -hmm. so we'll demonstrate upstairs but in short basically what it is you pull the back off the adhesive slap that on unzip it and then cut it with a razor makes it really easy this is what we got going on over here he's just taped this plastic to this to the casement and then we have a zipper down there so we can get through there we are containing our dust in this small area Here's another, and the reason is, we're actually putting an elevator right up through the stairs. So this section of the stairs down there, we wanted to contain the dust in here. So only the area, the, the window of area that we're working, uh, do we want access to, you know? So people, we're always surprised when we, when we do this because people are like, well, you really don't have to do that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we do. Because um, a couple months into the job, if it's a larger job, they're very thankful that we do this. And this is an easy one right here. Mm -hmm. right, let's go upstairs. All right, so it is gonna take a couple people for this. And the reason is, is you're gonna see, I'm gonna have to collapse this, let it down, And then I extend it. So basically, without this other person, it's going to be tough for him to put this up there. All right, so Harley's got the zipper here. I'm going to just take my foot. Hold it with the 
bottom. And stretch it up. Yeah, and stick it on. Oh, yo, peel and stick. Oh, I can't get it right now. Okay. And I'm just going to go. Oh, right there. He's holding it with the foot. He's going to. Yeah, there we go. One thing I always do when I'm taping this up, I fold a little bit of tape over. Makes it easier to get those off. Alright, I'll show you when he cuts it. Alright, so he went ahead and unzipped it. I just run the razor. And then for the bottom, I actually cut the plastic. Pull up. It acts as a weight at the bottom that keeps it sealed. So you rolled the plastic up the excess and he's just taking it right there. Go through and see if it works. Okay, so this is the wall that we built. We went ahead and attached it with washers. If you're if you're gonna contain the dust, this is what you gotta do. The zip system won't work down here. We don't think it will. Now this is a zip. Zip wall zippers that we've incorporated into our own uh, wall. It works really well. Uh oh. Fell through. So, come on over here. Full. Nice big entrance right there. So for carrying materials and through and what have you. All right, so highly recommend this zip. I know it's definitely not a new product, but we always see it being used with their whole system. You don't have to use their poles alone. This, uh, the zipper's pretty cool. Is that yeah, it? That's it. All right, see ya.